How to play a coin spirit game. Spirit of the coin is a fun, spooky game. Similar to the Ouija board, the spirit of the coin uses a talking board to contact spirits and communicate with them. You just need a coin, a piece of paper, and a pen, then you're ready to turn out the lights and talk to the dead. Just remember not to upset the spirits. Method 1. Making the game board. 1. Find a large, white sheet of paper, a pen, and a coin. The paper should be no smaller than an 8 by 11 to allow room to write everything on the game board and allow enough room for the coin to move. You can use any coin, but choosing a silver coin may help to repel the evil spirits. 2. Write the alphabet around the edges of the paper. This will allow the spirit to spell out answers to your questions. If you want you can draw them in a similar pattern to the Ouija board. Draw a n arched along the top and the o z along the bottom. The shape the letters make on the paper would be similar to an oval on the paper. 3. Write numbers 0 to 9 across the center of the paper. Some questions may require a numerical answer. You may want to find out how old the spirit is or when they were alive. 4. Add words such as start, end, yes, or no. These will provide easier answer options to simple questions. It's always faster to ask a yes or no question than one that requires more explanation. You can use the start and end options to call a spirit or end the game. Method 2. Playing the game. 1. Choose a dark room for playing this game. Do not turn on the lights. Most often this game is played at night as spirits are said to be more active late in the day. Light one or more candles so that you can see the board. 2. Sit in a circular arrangement around the board. Set the coin on the board at start. Each one of the persons should keep a finger on the coin. Do not push the coin. 3. Invite the spirits. Begin by asking a question that can be answered with a yes or a no. The coin will begin to move when the spirit answers. It may take a few minutes for the coin to warm up. Just be patient. 4. Pose questions to the spirit and receive answers from the moving coin on the alphabets. These answers may be spelled out quickly. You may want to have someone write down the answers that isn't touching the coin. Remain respectful of the spirits. Thank them for talking to you. Don't automatically believe the board. Spirits are not always going to speak the truth. 5. At the end, place the coin on the end or go option and that would end the game. You need to let the spirits know the session is over and it is time to go. Be sure to remove the coin from the paper and put the paper away. You don't want to risk letting the spirits escape.